everyone welcome to my new video so in this video what I am going to do is I'm just uh, yeah for the last video we discussed about Java development Java 11 features or something so today we are going to do some uh, different topic I mean we are not going to discuss about the programming concept on this we are going to the infrastructure side so if we are uh, creating an application and converting into a war file and need to deploy in a jbos application server how you can do that so the thing is like uh, we need to know uh, application what is application server and also what is web server or what is the difference between application server and web server so that's another topic so but today we are not going to that topic also so today we are not going to the programming we are not going to the application server and web server difference but we are directly going to jpos enterprise application server application platform installation so why we are going to do this uh, actually i want to discuss about the difference between application server web server and other things i will do that things in coming videos probably after one or two videos or something like that but today i have some I mean some requirement to familiarize with the JBoss that's why uh, I am trying to do a video in JBoss installation so JBoss installation is a straightforward process just to download the jar file and run go to your bin directory uh, run as uh, I mean as such files like shell script then that's it we don't need to do any complicated configuration changes or something like that to run an application server so that's the advantage if we are considering the jbos enterprise application platform so there are a lot of versions available so basically basically uh, in this scenario we are focusing on 7.4 so if I am in JBoss uh, JBoss download page JBoss enterprise application platform download page I can see so many versions here so I'm going for 7.40 here you can see uh, two types of files available one is in server and one is zip file sometimes we will go with zip file sometimes we will go with the download a jar file so here what i am going to do is i am going to download my jar file the thing is like before i am going to discuss about these things uh, actually i need to start my i mean i need to start my download because maybe it will take some time but anyway that doesn't matter we will download this thing and then after downloading uh, during the downloading process itself we are trying to we are trying to explain all, the, all these steps we are going to do today so we will download jar file then click on jar select lang language then accept the license agreement, select the installation for a common selection, create admin state, user, choose username, password, common and installation, and to then configure runtime environment. Configure runtime environment. That probably mm, we need to make. Yeah, that probably we can see after downloading this job so i just download the jar file and try now i'm trying to install that so it's saying like cannot be open because it's from a non-defined developer 
So how I can solve that? That's the, that's the problem also. So I need to yeah, I need to find the solution for that. Uh, open with Java Launcher. I'm getting the same error probably by opening this app you will be exposed okay you got it so open okay and then something will happen okay here so after opening what exactly happened here i need to yeah the second step so i already mentioned click on jar that's done then we are going to the select the language that's also done and mm -hmm. the license agreement that currently i am doing right now language is already done so it's going to install only ap 7.4 that's fine i'm going with the default themes and here i'm just creating an admin admin username and password that's fine then uh, next install all the things component installation that's why i uh, i mentioned earlier that this is a straightforward process uh, you don't need to do anything configure runtime and you choose whatever you need i mean uh, default configuration so process finish if you are not familiar that uh, the configuration side just use that for then generating selection script and properties by install forward has been created mm, i don't know what exactly that one mm, whether we need that one and install program has been created in an install okay generating selection script and properties mm, i don't know what is what this means probably some scan to do or something like that. okay i'm just following this one and uh, this thing done that's done now what we need to do is we need to go to the specific folder we created and need to do the rest of the things so here somewhere I create the EAP. Where is my EAP here? That's a question actually. If I have EAP in this folder, yeah. Just go here in the bin folder and just run standalone dot sh. If you are in a Windows environment, you can follow okay. that. Uh, this will not work like this you need to choose um, review options or something click actions customer i don't know how we will open open with the terminal i'm going to open the terminal here so here i have no options for that so we will can you find for a new tab or something like that okay uh, anyway the installation is done the remaining stuff probably we can discuss in next video uh, basically the admin and other kind of things so we will do two videos in this one uh, thank you for watching because it's nine minutes already that's why i am uh, stopping right now thank you for watching have a nice day